Hey, Crow. Yeah, hey, what's going on, Steve? You know, I'm glad we was able to put all differences aside. You know, I think we make a great team. Yeah, me too, Steve. I'm glad we put our differences aside. Cool, cool. But, uh, are these guys, uh, really necessary to, to watch me? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's necessary, at least for a little while. You know, just to make sure you don't act up again. Please stop touching me. Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today is the RG Crossbone Gundam. Now this kit did come out last month, and I was super excited to build it. And you know what? It's not a bad kit. I would probably put this maybe in the above average zone when it comes to RGs. Um, I have built quite a few, not all of them just yet. Uh, but in terms of the ones I did build, this one is maybe just a little bit below like the tall geese. Uh, but definitely above things of like the Strike Freedom or even the Destiny. Uh, but regardless, this is going to have a lot of cool accessories, a lot of different uh, gimmicks is going to be a part of it. Uh, but there are some cons that I will actually address within the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. And you can pick up this kit and many more from NewTypeHQ.com. And don't forget to use that promo code Krosama for your 10% off. So the first thing we're going to cover is the details on the kit. So starting with the head sculpt, the head sculpt is really nice. Um, obviously the red over there, you're going to have to paint that in or use the water slides that actually come with the kit, but I wouldn't recommend water slides. Just get like a red Gundam marker or something and then just paint that in. Uh, otherwise, it, you know, it looks really good. The overall details is pretty fine. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to pretty much point out throughout this entire video, or at least in the details section, is that there's not any off color separation so you're just pretty much going to get the the normal white for this kit there's no like off gray or anything or like a like an egg white or something it's just kind of a, of a letdown because most rgs are pretty much all rgs had that kind of off color in some way shape or form but you know what it kind of is what it is and i'm still really enjoying this now for gimmicks, if you just get a toothpick or something a little pointy, you can just pull this little face piece down and it's going to expose that little uh, face ventilation. And you're also going to have this different eye set, so it's basically going to have a normal eye right here on the side, but you're also going to have an eye patch, but you know, I just did not put it in there because you are going to have to take apart the entire head in order to swap out the different eyes. So we'll take a look at the body. Uh, you know, the first thing I do want to point out is going to be this horrendous sticker for the Vanguard emblem. Uh, yeah, it's it looks really bad, and I'm pretty sure you've seen in other reviews that it's just not a great looking sticker. And in fact, I mean, just stickers on RGs don't always look that great in my opinion. Uh, so if you can, opt out of the stickers and go pick yourself up some water slides. Uh, I know Samuel Decal probably is going to have some of those. Uh, if not, I mean, find some on eBay somewhere. Uh, but yeah, water slides is going to make this look so much better than these horrendous stickers. But outside of that, you are going to have some nice little surface details right here on the body. Uh, the you know yellow vents right here look pretty damn good. Uh, kind of look a little bit more into the orange uh, kind of area, but yeah, I'm just gonna, still going to just call them yellow. Uh, but overall, the body structure is really solid. No issues whatsoever. And then you can also have the cockpit right here uh, open up to reveal the uh, core fighter's cockpit. And with looking at the arms, overall the arm detail is really nice. Good surface detail overall, no issues whatsoever. Nothing pops out, nothing is kind of like, you know, flimsy or too tight. And you're gonna have this little latch up here. So if I can get this opened. Uh, but yeah, you you're gonna have these latches up there. These are not actually for the, uh, the cloth that comes with this kit. This is going to be for that full cloth uh, P Bandai. It's gonna happen, I don't care what anyone says, we're getting a crap load of P Bandai of the crossbone. It's just a matter of time, but yeah, that's probably what the functionality of those is gonna be for. And the waist is gonna have its own little gimmicks in the front, uh, but just for looking at the details, you know, nothing really too spectacular. Uh, you're gonna have some places for panel lining and everything, which is going to be, you know, pretty good. Uh, stickers are very few, but you know, I think it's fine for what it is, uh, but yeah, the gimmick is pretty much going to be in the weaponized front skirts. So we're taking a look at the legs. Overall, the legs are not bad, but these are the problems I have with them. There's no like real indication that this is a real grade. You know, it's 
the, you have like some panels here you got some panels on the back side of the legs which is fine but I'm just looking at this and I, I can't help but feel that this could have been in some different colors now obviously if you're a painter then go ahead and just mask this area off over here maybe like paint this a different color paint up here a different color um, scribe some panels in there you know you do your modeling thing but as a default, you know, I, I was really hoping that this would have had more of a real great vibe to it. Um, but these legs are definitely an indication that it's, you know, they just improved on some of the proportions. Couple a little bit of uh, surface details in comparison to the high grade. But man, I don't see why they couldn't have done something a little bit extra. Uh, but overall, you know, these legs aren't bad. They have great posability, great little gimmicks uh, built in it with um, the little handles right here being able to come out. And, you know, just overall, um, the legs can slide the knee forward like that whenever you're bending, which I'll go over into the articulation side. But you know what? It, it kind of just is what it is. And for the core fighter, it's looking really good. This is probably going to be what has like the most nice surface detail especially on these little thrusters uh lots of good little details etched in there so I i'm pretty satisfied with the overall quality of this in particular i was kind of wondering how they was going to do it in such a small frame the high grade did a pretty good job uh but i do think that you know it's it's just something that you know is really appreciative because some people do like to display their core fighters outside of the, uh, the actual mobile suit so this just looks really good and definitely worthy of you know just having on like a little stand and the way you attach it to the kit is just bending down the nose then folding the uh, i'm pretty sure these are the beam sabers right here so you fold these inward and you can kind of just keep this the way it is but all you're gonna do is just slide this right into the back and just make sure everything is lined up perfectly and you're just gonna pop that right there until you hear a snap and then yeah pretty much solidified Now for the different hands, it's gonna come with two closed fists, hands with a finger spread, hands for gripping the beam bladed weapons, and hands that have a trigger finger and a peg in the center, so that way he can hold weapons such as his pistol. Then you also get a C-Book pilot, but he's going to go under the alias of Kincaid in the manual, but he's always gonna be C-Book to me. And here is the Buster Gun, which looks really damn good. Uh, lots of good color separation. So something that the Master Grade and uh, the High Grade severely lacked. And you're also going to have this little grenade round, so you can attach it right inside there. And he can fire off a little uh, napalm. And you can store the gun on either side skirts. And next is going to be the Beam Zamber. Now this is a super, super cool weapon. Kind of my go-to, even on my Master Grade. Uh, but just start with the blade. You're gonna have a lot of detail just etched in there. So really cool, very stylized. And then just kind of working your way over here to the actual handle. Um, looks really good. Uh, the color separation is fine with the yellow right there and at the bottom. Uh, something you are not gonna see at the other previous uh, grades. But overall, it looks really good. And you're also gonna have a hand right there so that way it can peg right in. And this too can peg into these side skirts. Now if you want to make the Zan Buster, you're just going to take this, move this up, 
swing it around, connect it with the buster gun, and slide this piece forward. And with these two combined, you're really gonna have a nice buster rifle. And you also get two beam sabers. And next you're gonna have is a beam dagger. So all you basically do is just flip it from underneath his arm and goes over his fist and bam, plug in the effect part. And it's also going to come with a beam shield which is going to look super good and all it does is just pretty much attaches to the beam dagger effect parts. They are going to have slots underneath the foot so that way you could plug in some of these nice little combat knives. And also you can pop off these back little handles and plug them straight in there. And next thing you're gonna have is going to be this chain that connects to the front skirt. And you're just gonna flip out these little pieces right here and this is going to act as a grappling hook of sorts or something like a claw. Uh, then you just shove this right back into where the uh, peg hole is. And for comparison, here he is next to the RG Sazabi and next to the Master Grade Crossbow X1. And the last thing I want to show you guys is going to be the anti beam mantle. Uh, so, what you're going to want to do is just take off the head and slip it on right on top. And lastly, put the head right back on. Now, with the cloak put on, this is going to look so much better. I do love the kind of hard plastic look of uh, cloaks, kind of like the Exia Repair. Uh, but when it comes to the cloth ones, like that comes with the Master Grade uh, Crossbone X1 Verka, I just really don't enjoy it as much. I think it takes a little bit more work to get it exactly how you want to look. But with this, you're already going to have some damage kind of pre-built into the plastic. Uh, it's going to have some articulation right here, pretty much going to be on a small little ball joint. Uh, but it is going to be fairly limited. You can still kind of, you know, flare it all out and have it look pretty damn cool or if it's a uh, kind of going in the wind you know something along those lines you can definitely do that but you know this is this is the focal point of the RG crossbow without this honestly I probably would have skipped on this kit at like altogether but this cloak makes the kit just kind of you know stand out and just it, it's a huge plus So for my final thoughts on this kit, um, not really too much in terms of negative. Uh, the biggest things I've already kind of touched on is going to be the stickers, which are pretty bad. Uh, also, the off color, there's there's no off color at all. There's no um, you know whites with like light gray or um, the maybe the little blue, the navy blue with a, a darker blue or black. That doesn't exist on this kit, uh, so take it as you will. I kind of think it's a little bit of a negative because that's just what, what we've seen with these RG kits. Um, but otherwise, most of it's pretty good. It's not going to have great posability while standing uh, flat on its feet, or you know, it's not going to have great ankle pivots at all. So that's a little bit of a con, and kind of the reason I've been keeping them on the stand. Just it's a little bit easier to pose a kit in the air than what it is on the ground for this particular one. Um, the accessories are fantastic. You gotta have a lot of options to choose from. So um, just do whatever you want. If you really want to like deploy the, uh, the little anchors on the front skirts, definitely go ahead and grab those. Or if you want to just display with the um, 
I don't know, the knives, anything, you're really going to have an uh, overwhelming amount of options. So maybe just every once in a while change it up and you'll have a little different shelf display with it. Um, overall, looks really good. I think it's, I, I honestly would vouch that it's worth the the price tag attached to it, which is going to be in, in anywhere between $20 and $25, depending on where you go online. But if you do find it online, hey, awesome, definitely pick it up. Uh, you can pick it up at newtypehq.com. And if you use that promo code Krosama, get that 10% off. I mean, you're going to find it for even cheaper at that point. So overall really good kit um i'm probably going to put this in the more above average uh kind of realm of rgs but hey it's still really awesome and i know if you just paint it detail it do some extra work to it it's gonna look even better but hey guys that's it for me definitely appreciate you for watching sticking all the way to the end uh like always rate comment subscribe and i'll be seeing y'all in the next review Bye bye